Good morning from Conqueror Golf Club. It's day one of the Monaghan Irish Challenge. As you can see, it's overcast, windy, and a little bit wet. Let's catch up with some highlights. And to the first of all, the highest ranked man in the field, Stuart Manley. Solid par part there at 18, mid shoot two under par. Of course, bring with confidence after winning early this year and some fantastic current form. Englishman Oliver Wilson, winner in Sweden this year, fantastic touch there on the seventh hole. Three under for the Englishman. And Benjamin Rush, not played a single event on the Challenge Tour all year. Hard to believe with that stroke. Four under for the Swissman, tied fifth over. Stan Mattis from Czech Republic, eight iron, 175, semi rough, uphill, downwind, front flag, nearly pitches it in. Fantastic shot, he wouldn't hold that, but he would shoot 68. Solid start. Callum Hill, winner just up the road earlier this year in Northern Ireland. Lovely stroke there for par on four. He'd shoot 68. Another man looking for his second win of the season. And to his fellow countryman, Duncan Stewart, a man who knows how to control his ball in the wind. That's for birdie at the last, not quite, but that'll be a tap in par, 68, no drop shots. Fantastic round of golf out there. And to Garrick Porteous, 70th on the rankings, on the bubble to keep his challenge to a card next year. Showing some great form with that wedge shot there on 13. It shoots 68. And one shot better is the man from Portugal, Ricardo Santos, here for Eagle at 15 off the fringe. Good pace. Stress free one putt birdie. I'm sure, I'd love plenty of those over the next three days. And here we go to the overnight leader. The Welshman Reese Enoch, uphill, right to left, 20 feet. No problems for the for the Welshman. 66, six under par, leads round one. As you can see, Reese up the top there at six under par, closely behind is Thomas Linnard from France, Bradley Moore from England, and of course Ricardo Santos from Portugal with a chasing pack there at four under led by Matt Ford. Welcome to Conqueror Wood for day two highlights of the Monaghan Irish challenge conditions are good we weren't expecting it but they are good should be some good scoring out there let's get to the action first up Rory McGee who changes putter overnight which was uh, always an interesting move there's a good stroke on up there at 18 didn't go in but he will shoot 500 today the best of the day to be on a minus three total and tied 13th position looking good for the weekend the Irishman Here's the Englishman, Garrick Porteous at the first, his 10th hole. 30 feet across the green for birdie. Those are the ones you want to hold. It's a great putt from the Englishman. 70th in the Challenge Tour rankings. He's on the bubble to keep his car for next year. It's an important week for him. He's tied eighth going into the weekend. Wilson at 18, great second shot to 10 feet. Oh, I had to think about it, but it went in. Great round of golf, 200 par. Minus five, tied fifth going into the weekend. To another Englishman, Matt Ford. Chipped up to here, a bad lie at the last. 10 feet for par. Makes lunch taste a little bit better. He'll shoot two under par to be in at minus six, fourth by himself. To the tall Swede, Nicholas Lemke. We were chatting to him yesterday, he's about putting, been working very hard with his coach. Lovely stroke there. He'll shoot tied best of the day, five under par. In at minus seven, tied for the lead with this man, Ricardo Santos. We spoke to him yesterday, he said his golf was good, his putting was good. That was a good shot there from 120 yards out the semi rough to 15 feet. 15 feet up the hill, lovely stroke again, no problems. He'll shoot two under. Going to the weekend tied lead. Needs a good weekend. Joining those two at the top is Scotland's Callum Hill here into 18. Best of the day. Fantastic shot to get to that back flag. 
man who won just down the road in Northern Ireland a few weeks ago, brimming with confidence, is his birdie putt. Closing birdie three. So three on the par round. On minus seven. Confirmation of Santos Lemke Hill at the top, followed by Matt Ford at six under. And the chasing pack, Mevis, Wilson, McIntyre. Garrick Porteous, Paul McBride, the leading Irishman, and Stuart Manley, the highest ranked man in the field. It's day three of the Monaghan Irish Challenge. Sun's out, it's still windy, and it's chilly. Winds has also moved into a different direction, so it could be a bit tricky for the players out here. Final group on the last tee, just getting ready. It's feeling a bit tense amongst these final few groups. Of course it is, they're jostling for positions on the road to Ras Al Khaimah. It's moving day here in Ireland. Moving day it is, and it's Nicholas Lemke at the first. He's playing a little soft today. It's a lovely little chip from the left-hand side of the green. It'll be a nice little birdie. Two feet there. That'll sell the nerves. And we go to Ricardo Santos. Starts off well, two under through four. This is the fifth. Played a delightful little pop shot there. That was harder than it looks. Half of the man at fifth. And to Oliver Wilson, this to go one behind on 10. Back of the green, down the hill, left to right, will it hold? Oh, and it does! He moves it in one lead. Getting tight at the top. All right, we're down here on 10 green. Final group just hit their approach shots in. Santos hit it 50 feet. He's got a bit of a smelly 50 footer. We've just seen Garrick Porteous put it off the green from here. And Lemke's hit it in there tight. Could see a two shot swing here. And here we've got Centos here, 50 feet as I said. Here's where it starts gathering pace and doesn't stop gathering pace. He'll have that seven, eight foot part for par. And then Lemke for birdie. Let's put the pressure on, just came out of it. Maybe a misread. Santos for par. This is on the right side. Tied at the top with Wilson. This is Thomas Lenar from France with a little chip for birdie at the side of 13. Going down the hill. Not quite. Tap in par. Two under. Five under total. Eighth position. Okay, we're down here at 18 with Robert McIntyre. He's just missed the green short right. Hasn't got a great lie. Pretty bog standard chip up there. Possibly to get into the last group tomorrow. We'll see how he gets on. There's a little chance to go in, not quite. Didn't quite get the spin, I think that's from the lie. Not a bad shot. And now, downhill par par, eight feet. For the last group tomorrow, and it's in, that's a solid putt. Good round of golf, 69 from the Scotsman. Now Ollie Wilson on the last hole, putting from the fringe there. Downhill, downwind. That's a good putt. Sure, Not the sort of putt you want to mess around with that one. He'll tap that in for a four and a par. No bogeys. That's a fantastic round of golf. We're going to tomorrow, second by himself. Now to the tall Swede. We spoke to him early in the day. He was feeling confident. This is from 145 at the last. Fantastic shot in there to 12 feet. That will be for birdie to take sole lead into the last round. Uphill, slow, a little bit left to right, no problems, lovely stroke. Work, hard work's paying off. We'll take the lead into tomorrow, day four. There's confirmation of Nicholas Lemke taking a one shot lead over Oliver Wilson and a shot further back is Robert McIntyre who will join them in the last group and then Ricardo Santos Let's hear from the leader. Got off to a quick start on one with a birdie, and then it kind of played pretty solid, but I didn't get close to the close to the hole, and had mostly downhill putts. I didn't get any good chances. And good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Play well. Thanks. It's day four here at the Monaghan Irish Challenge. It's cold, it's windy, and there's a chance of rain a little later on. These guys are going to want to control their ball flight out there today, because if they don't, they're going to miss greens and they're gonna drop shots around this tough Conquerwood layout. 
let's get out to the action. Coming out of the blocks was Swissman Marco Ayat, and this is his third shot at the fourth. Front flag, lovely, great distance control there. Fast start, two under through four. Wilson at the same hole, 60 yards, slightly different game plan. Wonderful touch from the Englishman. Okay, we've got Nicholas Lemke's hit about 40 feet past the flag. He's got a downhill, couple of little breaks. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Wilson's hit a great shot in there to 10 feet, take the lead. Possibly, who knows. Lemke down the hill, not the sort of putt you want to go for. Just held out. Judged it well, he's got his touch today. Ten feet up the hill. Robert McIntyre just on the same line, so he's got a good read, good stroke. Coming out of the blocks. Three under through four. Knighton again at the eighth. 142 yards up the hill, downwind. Oh, here it comes. Oh, and a two. An eagle two at the eighth. That'll move you up the field. Just telling his caddy it's in. It is Marco. And as the guys were battling out the first part of the back nine, Lemke dropping shot at 12. Wilson holding a two shot lead going down the 15th. Okay, we're down here at 15. Par five, good birdie chance. Wilson's just gone long on the green, long left. Gone uphill line, lies okay. About 35 yards or so to the flag. Downhill past the flag. Smelly chip. strike on there he's landed in the perfect spot that is so well judged you can, you can see the wind it's blustery it's picking up great touch and here he is to finish 10 feet up the hill another solid stroke means business today now Lemke he's got a four footer just to stay within two well done. He's hanging on. Two behind with three to play. This is Lemke for bogey on 16. Just got a gust of wind there. You can't believe it. You cannot believe that. So now Wilson goes three ahead of Lemke with two to play. You can't believe it. This is Ayrton to put any sort of pressure on Wilson at the last for three. That's a fantastic three. Could mean solo second. Strong finish from the man from Switzerland. With Wilson and Lemke both making part of 17, Wilson with a two shot lead at the 18th. A cracking drive. Second shot just left, chipped up to here. And that's no problem for the Englishman. That's his second win of the season. It was a tough day out there, it was a grind. They did very well, they battled all day. But Wilson came out on top. It's confirmation, second win of the year for Wilson. Puts him in the top 15 of the road to Ras Al Khaimah. Solo second for Aitin. Solo third for Nicholas Lemke. All making great strides up the road to Ras Al Khaimah. Great 69 from Simon Khan and a plus one for Robert McIntyre. Ollie Wilson, massive congrats. What a week, how are you feeling? Um, yeah, pretty pumped. Um, that was hard work today. I know how good I can be and how, how well I can play and what I'm capable of. And Have a Guinness tonight or what? what's the plan? Well, my main, my main aim is to make my flight and then we'll celebrate on the flight, I guess, if, right. if that happens. Otherwise, it'll be celebrating at home. Well, you best get off then. Yeah. Hug it out. <laughs> well done, mate. <laughs> off you pop. Thanks, mate.